so excited and I'm so proud to be here to say that I am all in for Bernie Sanders. Four years ago, I supported Hillary Clinton for president. Oh no, oh no, we're not going to do that here. I supported her because I wanted a woman president. I thought she was incredibly qualified. And I thought she was unbeatable. But it's four years later. And let me tell you, four years ago, I listened to Bernie. And I loved what he was saying. And my kids say, hey, mom, hey, mom, what about Bernie? What about Bernie? And I said, I love it, but I just, I just don't, I don't think it can happen. I think he's a resistance candidate and I, and I love him for what he's doing. Well, let me tell you, four years have passed and the world looks entirely different. And it doesn't just look different because we've lived through three years of Donald Trump. I will tell you the main reason that it looks different. It looks different because Bernie Sanders has irrevocably changed the terrain and the conversation of this country. And we can never go back. And we don't want to go back. And I look at those other folks who are trying to be our Democratic nominee, and they, they place themselves all different places along the spectrum. But I'll tell you, the reason they're even talking about Medicare for all, the reason they're even talking about free college for all, they're even talking about a $15 minimum wage nationally. The reason they're even talking about a Green New Deal is because Bernie has made it impossible for them not to. has shown me and has shown us in the last four years is that for too long, for as long as I can remember, we have been making do with crumbs. And we've been told that the crumbs that we're getting, unless we're millionaires or billionaires or the head of, of corporations, we're, telling, we're told that those crumbs are a meal. Bernie has taught us to say, I'm done with these crumbs. I want the whole pie. And I tell you, I was in Nevada a couple of days ago. The Bernie fever is at a pitch. Here in New Hampshire, Tomorrow, we are going to show this country and the world what New Hampshire can do and what the United States of America can do. We're going to tell them that the last three years, that's not who we are. And in my, in my travels around, sometimes I ask people I don't really know, I say, who are you, uh, who are you supporting in the presidential? Sometimes they say that with that kind of fervor. And sometimes they say somebody else. And I 
say, why? Tell me. And they tell me. And I listen. And then I say to them really quietly, but what about Bernie? And nine times out of ten, here's what they say to me. They say, oh, Bernie, that would be great. And I say to them, then when I ask you, who are you supporting? Why don't you just say Bernie? And they say, well, I think he's great. They sound like me four years ago. I think he's great, but I worry about my coworkers. I worry about my in-laws. I worry about fill in the blank. I worry that they're not going to go for him. And I try my best to say to those people without shouting them down, I try to say, listen, don't worry about them. What do you want? Whose America do you want to live in? And once you come out of the closet as a Bernie supporter, once you embrace how you really feel, that coworker and that in-law and that whoever, they're going to look at you and say, yeah, you know what? Me too. And the last thing I want to say is this nonsense, this nonsense that the media keeps telling us about, about we have to pick somebody in the middle, somebody who everybody will go for. You pick somebody everybody will go for, and I'll tell you who shows up on election day, pretty much nobody. about Bernie. We love him and we and we want to fight for him and we want to fight until he's president. And we want to show up. And we want to go that extra mile. You know? Did you ever do this? Did you ever think like I'd like to fall in love. I'd like to meet the one. And, and you make a list of like what that person might be like. Maybe how tall they are. Maybe what ethnicity they are or what religion. How old they are. What kind of job they have. What gender they are. And you know, it kind of sounds good on paper. And if you could take that paper and make that person materialize, you'd never go for them. When you meet that person that you fall for, that's the thing about them. They're completely unexpected. Because when you meet that person, they defy your expectations. But your heart opens and your mind opens and you see the path, your life with them ahead of you. That's what happened for me when I met my wife. And that is what is... to America right now with Bernie Sanders. Because people don't turn out in droves for somebody who checks a lot of boxes. People show up in droves for someone they are passionate about. And that's why we are going to win not only the nomination, that's why we're going to win in November. Because all the horror, all the horror and the white supremacy and the xenophobia and the homophobia and you name it, all the horror that is Donald Trump. He is a formidable foe. We must not underestimate him. And we need, we don't need just another politician. We need a hero and that is Bernie Sanders.
and do him proud. Thank you. UNH Durham, do you guys?